Hey guys, it's Angie Tanini Rogers, and today I want to talk to you about some tips on how to do a successful Google Plus Hangout on air. Uh, just some tips for both the panelists and the organizer of the event. Okay, so first to start off, the Google Plus Hangout on air is um, a video conversation that happens between, uh, it could be one person just broadcasting out to others, or it could be a panel of people, it could be an opportunity to screen share, uh, so it's just an opportunity to hang out with other people uh, in in person um, and so you're able to get some things done uh, together okay so in order to get ready for a Google hangout here's the things you're gonna do and I do have a few notes that I'm reading just because I want to make sure that I'm focused and I don't forget to mention anything so here are the few things that we should do prior to um, the Google Hangout starting. All right, the first thing you want to do if you're asked to be a panelist on a Google Hangout, you want to have your headset or headphones ready. Uh, this will reduce feedback and it will um, eliminate problems with hearing and uh, feedback for other people watching. iPod headphones work great or, you know, any other kind of headphones. You don't have to have these, but it's helpful to have just in case you need them. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a working mic on your computer, so a microphone and a webcam. You want to uh, make sure that before you start that you've turned off all of your other video recording or audio recording software, things like Camtasia or Screencast. Turn all of those things off and make sure they're shut down because those will interfere with your ability to either present audio or present your webcam to the group on the, on the Hangout. Okay, uh, you want to plan to sit in a well lit area and you want to have um, a minimal background distraction. So clear up the clutter a little bit and just make sure that you don't have a lot of noise and and stuff like that. Just to just to um, minimize the amount of distractions that occur when you're live online. Uh, Let's see. You want to make sure that you've added the organizer of the Google Hangout into your Google Plus circle. So obviously you need to have a Google Plus account and usually what the organizer can do is uh, send you an email for, for your Google uh, Gmail account and you can click on that to get into the Hangout. Um, up in the right hand corner of your Google Plus account there's a notification button that's red and it'll tell you when you have a notification and then also that's where the Hangout button is as well. Uh, you want to make sure that before the Hangout you install the Google Voice software and it's really easy but you just don't want to wait till the last minute in case there are any issues. All right, and here's what you and the organizer should do prior to, about 20 to 30 minutes before going on air. You want to turn off as many other programs on your computer as, as you can, uh, especially you have to turn off the webcam and the mic software, anything that accesses that stuff. Uh, and you want to just only keep open the stuff that you're actually going to access during the Hangout. So if you're going to screen share and show something on Facebook or show something in a Word document or something like that, you, you can keep that open, but you want to make sure that you've shut everything else down. It just... Um, take your bathroom break and get a drink of water before the Hangout starts so that you're prepared and you're ready to sit for a, bit, sit for a bit. And then for for women, um, consider putting on some lip gloss before. And I know it sounds kind of silly, but it does really help. And hey, if you're a man and you want to wear some lip gloss, do that too. Uh, but wear some lip gloss for the uh, hangout. And don't worry about anything else. Um, you know, you obviously want to present yourself in a way that everyone in the world can see you because uh, it is live. And, um, you know, uh once you do or say something on that Hangout, you can't take it back unless the, the URL is taken down. But during that Hangout, uh, it's live. So everything goes out and you can't get it back. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, before the Hangout, of course, the organizer should have sent an invitation to all the participants that are going to be on the panel. And uh, we talked about how to find that and where to click that up in the right-hand corner of your Google Plus um, account. Uh, when you get to the Hangout, so you're going to have all the panelists and the organizer get to the Hangout 
uh, about 20 minutes prior to the hangout, okay? When you get there, you want everybody to test their mic, test their headphones, test their volume level. You want them to test their webcam. That way, before it goes live, everybody in the panel knows that their mic works, their webcam works. Lots of times during hangouts, uh, if we don't do any prep work prior, you have certain people that have never been on before, and they don't know how to use their mic, they don't know how to use their webcam. I actually, on my very first one, um, had Camtasia open and so I couldn't get my webcam to pick up and finally I figured out that's what it was but it took you know they had to skip me and come back to me so you just want to try to do that ahead of time. Um, Hangout's not viewable to the public until uh, the organizer pushes the start and broadcast button so you you guys have time beforehand to get all prepared. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure that your image is customized and you want to make sure you have a good picture that you want everyone to see because when you come up, when your screen pops up to the kind of take over the whole screen, your Google image will pop up next to that. And then also you want to customize your banner and your banner is in what in the area that they call lower third. It's um, it, it will appear beneath your image on the camera when you are at the forefront of the hangout so when you start to speak you will be up and you'll take up the whole screen and so your image and your banner will pop up. Uh, what you want to put on your banner is um, there's lots of different suggestions but a lot of people put their branding stuff on the banner so if you have a certain phrase that you use for yourself or for your business um, excuse me something like uh, for me I'm a nurse and and one of my little catchy phrases that I use is nursing your biz back to life um, or healing your mind spirit and business just because it's kind of a play on the nursing and and, and um, helping people that way um, something else you could you know mompreneur or um, you know copy and paste your way to success uh, retire a nurse. There's just tons of things that you can put in there. Team, uh, team rocks. I mean, whatever you want to put in there, just know that that is what is going to show up under your name. Your name, obviously, you want to um, brand yourself there. Uh, and then you just want to check with the organizer and see what's approved. Some, some people put their blog uh, addresses there or their Facebook uh, profile so you know just check with your organizer on what kinds of things are allowed and then just um, make it a little unique for yourself okay and then the other thing that you can do as a group of panelists prior to the hangout beginning is um, you you all can open up the chat and what you do is you click chat on the left side of the hangout panel and it opens up the group chat group chat and um, only the hangout panelists can see the chat so the public can't see what is happening in that group chat and why that's good and why that's important is because um, if all of you guys uh, are able to chat with each other the panelists you know you might say hey Sandy I'm hearing a lot of feedback from your camera make sure that you mute your mic when you're done speaking or um, you know you might somebody's camera might go out and that person not know and you you could put something in the chat hey hey uh, Margie your your cameras went out we can only see your image you know or if somebody's sharing the screen you could chat and say uh, we can't see your screen that just keeps the extra conversation um, out from the public's view so it keeps the public a little bit more focused on what's being said versus our corrections of each other publicly so that's a nice way to do it privately and kind of kind of an administrative behind the scenes thing and it just makes for a cleaner experience for your Google Hangout um, participants that are watching the Hangout okay it keeps the distractions down um, okay and then of course once the broad the uh, organizer hits the start button and the broadcast button it will be live and, and like I said it's on the internet you cannot do say or, or, or do any you can't take anything back so just be mindful of how you present yourself and what you present so because it is live and you can't take it back so you know sometimes people are a little bolder behind the camera or online but this is no different than sitting you know in a library and talking to someone or sitting in a coffee shop and you know because what you say to that person you can't take back so it's the same thing on a live hangout okay it's not it's not something that you you edit right away or that you can censor right away okay 
Uh, okay, some other tips during a hangout, make sure that you keep your mic muted unless you're the one that's at the forefront, you're the one talking. Otherwise, when you make a noise or when you speak or if you turn to say something to your child or something like that, uh, your picture and your image will pop to the forefront and that will distract from whoever it was talking. So if Rachel is over here, um, if she's the, the speaker right now on front stage and I start coughing or rattling around with my papers, then my camera might pop up. So Rachel's talking, but they're looking at me fumbling around with papers. So you just want to mute your mic in order to avoid that. Um, and if you need to say something or have a question, use the group chat. That way you don't interrupt the person talking and you don't uh, take away the focus of whatever that person is saying for the viewers. Um, something else that's really, really good to do if you can do this is for the organizer to send a rough agenda to all of the panelists prior to the um to the hangout. So basically what this does is this allows the panelists to prepare ahead of time so they have an idea of what they're going to talk about. So if the organizer knows what kinds of questions they're going to ask the panelists, then send those questions to your panelists prior to the hangout so that the panelists have an opportunity to think about what they want to say, to have a focused idea, um, to make sure that they have the opportunity to get all the points that they want to get across when they're live. Um, it's nothing worse than getting up uh, on a live um, hangout and, and going blank or getting a question that you didn't expect and not really having an answer. So in order to help kind of uh, manage everybody up, we want to make sure everybody's prepared. And so having the questions ahead of time can help to do that. It can help focus your panelists and it can help focus the hangout in general. Um, you know, you might have specific items that you want certain panelists for their specialties to cover. So you might give that to that panelist and, you know, you might give, uh, let's say you're doing a training, you might give YouTube to this person. So you're going to ask questions about YouTube. You might give Craigslist to somebody else. You might give Facebook advertising to somebody else. Uh, so is, if they know what they're presenting, then, you know, they'll be able to have kind of an outline for themselves or um, yeah for themselves and be able to share that and make sure that they they hit all of the points that they want to hit live um, now of course if your intention on the hangout if there is something that you want to have an element of surprise then of course you do that as well but uh, in general a, a lot of hangouts have a uh, specific intention or goal in mind and so with those intentions and goals you want to have kind of a rough agenda and then all of the panelists can make sure that they meet those expectations and, and you guys uh, hit the objectives that you're trying to hit. Um, so finally, guys, after that, you want to uh, share the Hangout. Uh, you can embed the link and you just share that. It, it will go to YouTube. It will be live on YouTube uh, uh, as soon as you hit broadcast, but then it will be live for replay um, you know, 24 hours a day on YouTube unless the broadcaster makes it private or whatever it is. Um, th the other thing, of course, is prior to the event, you're going to want to advertise the link to the broadcast. So uh, that that comes in with your sharing and marketing and things. Um, finally, you want to have fun and you want to be yourself. You don't there's you know, you don't want to um, be fake but you want to have a lot of energy, a lot of positivity, a lot of enthusiasm. You want to be excited because, you know, uh, there's nothing, aside from the, the feedback kind of stopping and then you're waiting for it to load again, there's nothing else worse than somebody coming on, Hi, my name is Angie Tonetti Rogers, and I'm really happy to be with you today, Bueller. Is Bueller in the house? Okay, seriously, who wants to listen to that? So you want to be fun. You want to be upbeat. You want to be excited. You want to be enthusiastic. Have lots of energy and smile a lot. Uh, you you want to show your personality. Be yourself and uh, don't be don't force anything or don't be fake, but definitely be excited and have positive energy about what you're doing. Okay, all of my tips.
for today. So, uh, guys, if, if there are any tips that I forgot that you have found to be helpful, please leave those tips in the comments below so that others, as they watch this video, can read more tips that you might have for them. And then, of course, share this video with anyone that you think might uh, benefit from it and like it and ask me any questions or com other comments below. Okay, guys, thanks a lot and uh, great luck to you on your next Google Plus Hangout on air. Make it a great day.